I just wanted to do a quick update. I'm not. I'm a shut day. Um, I'm not doing good at all. My PTSD is reoccurring with like a horrible fucking vengeance right now. I can't eat. I can't sleep. Body is just holding on to all this trauma that I'm in like physical pain. And I just want to be okay. I don't think my living situation is like very conducive to what I'm going through right now. But at the same time, like I don't know what else I would do or I want to do. Bruce. Everything sucks. Oh, it's like right there, but it won't pop. Um, yeah, I decided to up my Zoloft dose. I know a lot of people get weird talking about like antidepressant medications. I will literally take any sort of help that I can get, so... Even if it's a placebo, like, I don't fucking care. I'll fucking take it if it'll help me. Like, I remember buying a bunch of, like, sage and, like, uncursed salts after the fire. Because I was just like, if it helps, it's fine. Um. Is that a pop? I felt so working for a while when I was first on the Zoloft. So to please don't rub against that. Um, I tried to up my dose previously, but it would just make me so absolutely lethargic. I would, like, fall asleep trying to do yoga. Just total fucking, like, narcoleptic. Um, but I don't think the 50 I'm on is really doing anything. I missed my doctor's appointment, like, the telehealth appointment because I was on hold with unemployment. So now I have to wait another, like, month before I can get another appointment to discuss, like, changing my options. And I knew that it would always be, like, some weird miracle that the first antidepressant medication I would try for my PTSD would be, like, the one. But, like, the, the side effects were brutal, y'all. Like, it literally felt like I just dropped ecstasy every day because my brain was so devoid of any sort of serotonin that it was just, like, a huge rush it was really weird. I definitely had, like, the stomach upsets. We buy a lot of really nice toilet paper. <laughs> because now that I've even upped my dose, I was on 50. I upped it to 75. The goal of trying to get it to about 100, I think, will be, like, the best um, therapeutic dose for me. But all the side effects are coming back. Which I guess is fine because I have no energy to do literally anything else. So I was going to use that as an excuse as to why I'm not getting out of bed today or I'm not doing anything. Usually, like, by this time, what time is it? It's noon. Usually by this time, I have woken up. I've done my morning yoga or Pilates routine. I've either gone for a run or punched a punching bag or I've studied for an hour or I've washed my face or, like, I've change out of last night's clothes that's been a big thing for me lately is I've been trying to put myself on a very strict routine just because lying around all day doesn't fucking help me at all but like today that's just what I'm gonna I'm supposed to hold a cup <laughs> that's just what I'm gonna fucking do I don't know what else I can do to combat this. Like, my last therapy appointment, we went over, like, the very strict rules of PTSD that you have to have to be diagnosed with. And there's, I think, like, three categories and then, like, six or seven subcategories in each category. And I had all of them. And I think it's just really... 
hard to admit to myself that I have this PTSD, not only like my complex childhood trauma, but like big trauma from the fire. And it just sucks. Like I thought I was doing better. I thought I was dealing with it. I thought I was... For coming it? I, I don't know, but I'm not. I'm really not. Like, last night I had a really, really bad panic attack to the point where, like, I couldn't sit down. I couldn't stand still. I didn't know, like, what my body fucking needed. I also didn't reach out to anyone because I'm feeling very apathetic lately, and... It, it was bad. I had to eventually, like, go outside at fucking, like, 2 in the morning and, like, just lay down in the grass and, like, remind, like, remind myself how to breathe and do the deep breaths. Um, being outside has really been helping me lately in dealing with my PTSD. But soon it's going to be winter and I'm not going to have, like really the option to go outside at like two in the morning unless I want to freeze to death because I'm in the mountains and it's cold and there's no snow. I am ready for it to start like raining though. I want it to look outside how I feel on the inside. That's going to be a lot of rain, a lot of snow, a lot of dark days. Ugh. The other reason I'm sad is my fucking hair is falling out really bad again like chunks and chunks and chunks like I don't know if I'm really comfortable like pulling the hair out of like the drain stopper and showing you guys how much hair I lose every time I wash my hair and then how much hair I lose on my brush every time I brush my hair <sighs> and it's great because once again there's just nothing I can do about it I'm literally just stuck being like well, if I get if I get too stressed out, more of my hair is gonna fall out. So just like don't get stressed, um, which creates my body more stress that I'm stressing because I don't want to stress in the first place and I'm stressed. I don't know, like it's just one of those days, which I hope doesn't turn into one of these weeks, which I hope doesn't turn into another couple of weeks, but. I, just, I don't know how to deal with it. I don't know if there's a way to deal with it. Like, what do you do? Do you? I know I'm supposed to sit here and feel the feelings, the complete emotions, and, like, physical body response to the feelings. Because that's the only way you get, like, released from the emotions is going through that entire, like, you tremble, shake, freeze, and then, like, your body adrenaline goes back down to normal. And I think for me, I'm just so stressed, like, I do this a lot, but that's me. Because that's like my body reacting to my stress. And uh, I don't know. I guess I'm going to do some more. Not yoga. Because I like I'm so impatient when it comes to yoga. I don't want to hear about chakras or energies or healing crystals. But I do like flexibility routines. Um, which I guess are more like. Obviously men can't say they do yoga. So they do a flexibility routine instead. But. It helps a lot. I have really bad scoliosis, so I'm trying to do specific exercises for that to try and, like, get my muscles to loosen up, which will, again, release the tension and, like, trauma. But there's also just, like, I don't know, there'll be days and I'm just like, oh, I'm not going anywhere today. I don't need to brush my teeth. I don't need to wash my face. And it's just like, whoa, but I should be doing this stuff for myself. And it's just been really hard when you hate yourself and think, like, you don't deserve these nice things. Which inherently, because of, like, my past abuse and the PTSD, I'm just, just like, why, why bother? No one's gonna see it anyway, because I live in the middle of fucking nowhere. And I guess Soda Pop sees it. Because I should take more from him. Because he's licking his fucking butthole every day. 